What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and today we're going to be talking about the best PC settings for Modern Warfare 3 to maximize performance and improve FPS. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and also as a reminder, we got plenty of brand new coverage going up over on Detonated.com, expanding on all the content you're seeing here on this channel, just in the form of articles on the website and plenty of tweets every single hour on Detonated's Twitter. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the beginning of Weekend 2 for the multiplayer beta. When you're watching this video, I probably just ended my stream going over the beginning of the crossplay beta, right? The level cap has increased. There's new content to enjoy. Hopefully, you guys are having a good time. I also gave away well over, I think, 12 to 13 beta codes for those out there that want to take part in early access over the next couple of days. But jumping into the PC settings here for MW3, you guys are probably aware that not everybody's PC is the same. PC gaming could be fairly complicated and does often require a lot of trial and error to see what best works for your particular specs. Once you figure things out, though, you'll never want to go back to console, right? The settings we're going over here in this video are a combination of some real solid settings that worked well for MW2 last year, a very similar game to this one, what also worked well over on the COD Next PC setups, and also what's been working very well for PC players during the beginning here of Weekend 2 of the multiplayer beta. Now obviously just like MW2, there will be a benchmark test offered inside of MW3 which will really put your PC to work and will figure out what the best optimal settings are for your particular build, but even regardless of what the benchmark test does say, you can still make some tweaks here as you'll see in this video that'll really improve your overall performance. Now as per usual every patch and seasonal update for Modern Warfare 3 will greatly improve the optimization of the game itself so with that I'll be updating the description and pinned comment of this video as well as the article that I wrote on Detonated with updated information every so often to help improve your game performance even more. There's gonna be so much to be learned over the next couple of months to really ensure that you get the most out of your PC performance and obviously as of right now during the beta we're limited on every single piece of information. Now, these settings are for MW3, the base game, and Warzone, especially when Modern Warfare 3 integrates with Warzone during Season 1 over in December. But first things first, if you're on Windows, regardless of Windows 10 or 11, you want to make sure you go into Background Apps and ensure that every single thing is turned off. Having Background Apps can negatively impact how your game performs, especially if you have OBS open and you're recording or streaming in the background. Having other Background Apps is not going to help any of those processes, so you want to make sure that all that is turned off as well as Xbox Game Bar. Xbox Game Bar could also really drop FPS no matter what game that you're playing, and it might even make your entire PC lag. So unless you guys out there just need Xbox Game Bar, you could just turn that off, right? There's no need to have those settings on. It won't help you in any way, especially if you already have OBS that'll be the program you use to record your content. But you also want to make sure you update your drivers. As Call of Duty did remind us over on Twitter yesterday, NVIDIA is probably one of the most popular GPU brands out there, so they're even encouraging you to update your drivers to really ensure you can run MW3 well. And you got to update your drivers every so often. It's not too often, but I'd say about every season and a half, we usually get new drivers, which do improve how Call of Duty does run on PC. So make sure you guys have updated them before jumping into the multiplayer beta or the launch window in November. Now, as far as minimum specs to go, Call of Duty did publish the following information. You gotta be on Windows 10 64-bit, the latest updates, have an Intel Core i5 6600 or AMD Ryzen 5 1600, have 12 gigs of RAM, have at least an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970 slash GeForce GTX 1650 or an AMD Radeon RX 480, have 3 gigs of video memory and an SSD with at least 65 gigs available with up to 25 gigs being used for the COD HQ download. The recommended specs do include Windows 10 64-bit latest update or Windows 11 64-bit latest update. You want to have an Intel Core i5-6600 or AMD Ryzen 5 1600. You could have 16 gigs of RAM. And then for the video card, an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 or the GeForce RTX 3050 or the AMD Radeon RX Vega. You want to have 6 gigs of video memory and an SSD with 65 gigs available with, again, 25 gigs for the COD HQ. HQ download. That is the hub app, the central app that all new CODs will be released in. Those are the recommended specs. But as far as your display settings do go for Modern Warfare 3, you want to be in full screen exclusive to reduce latency. You want to make sure that you choose your main display with the highest refresh rate as your display monitor. And then for display adapter, just select the graphics card that is currently in your PC. And then for screen refresh rate, you want to select the maximum refresh rate that is currently on your monitor, the one that you're gaming on. For display resolution, you want to make sure you set it to 1080p. If you have a high-end CPU, then you could select 1440p, but 1080p will be better for frames and performance. 4K is not recommended at all whatsoever because that could significantly impact your frames per second. Aspect ratio.
ratio, 16 by 9, that's automatic. Dynamic resolution, you could turn that off. That will indeed adjust the resolution of MW3 periodically, which could be pretty distracting. So just leave that off for now. VSync gameplay, you want to have that off, could cause more latency. VSync menu, also off. Custom frame rate limit. This is typically the recommended frame rate limit for some of the newer Call of Duties. Your gameplay limit being capped at about 300, your menu limit being capped at 90, and your auto focus custom frame rate being limited to about 30. For your display gamma, 2x2. Two two. Brightness, you can put that to whatever it is that you prefer. Focus mode, turn that off. But then moving into quality settings for MW3 here. Graphic preset, you want to set it to custom. For your render resolution, set it to 100. You want to have your upscaling and sharpening to fidelity FX CAS. And then for fidelity FX CAS strength, turn it to about 65, which will sharpen the game without impacting your frames. Anti-aliasing, SMAAT2X. Anti-aliasing quality, set that to normal. Setting this to low may improve FPS a little bit more, but setting it to normal is still a lot more recommended here for this Call of Duty. Your video memory scale, we're gonna put that at about 90. You want to use the maximum VRAM that you possibly can. Texture resolution, normal. Texture filter. Set that to high, FPS is barely affected by the higher setting, depth of field off, detail level quality low, distant level of detail high, which is optimized for your gameplay experience, and your clutter draw distance, you want to set that to short, particle resolution, you can set that to high, bullet impacts will be on, as well as persistent effects. Now, shader quality, set it to about medium. Your on-demand texture streaming, always have that off. That can cause significant lag and frame drop when you're actually in-game. Local texture streaming quality, set it to normal. Shadow quality low, screen space shadows low. Ambient occlusion off, screen space reflections off. Static reflection quality, set it to low. Uh, tessellation, set that to off. Terrain memory on max. Volumetric quality on low. And then deferred physics quality on low, because that only affects the water anyway. Weather grid volume set it to off water quality we have water caustics and wave wetness currently selected but that can be adjusted a lot more once we play a lot more warzone in december to see what works best nvidia reflex low latency make sure that's on which can significantly improve latency issues if you are cpu bound you can use the on plus boost option but moving into the view settings for mw3 in terms of fov obviously it's fun to put it on max but if you set around 100 to 110 that will ensure a strong balance between performance and visibility in your match. ADS field of view, set that to affected. Weapon field of view, put that on default. Third person FOV, about 80 to 100 is ideal. Your vehicle field of view, put that on default. And then world motion blur and weapon motion blur, definitely set to off to ensure that you have strong FPS. Film grain, zero by zero, zero. First person camera movement, at least 50%. Same for third person. And then for third person ADS transition though, you can set that to your choice, as well as the spectator camera and the inverted flashbang that is all up to you. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. Once again, these are recommended specs to ensure maximum performance out of your PC when it comes to FPS, visibility, graphic fidelity. These settings will likely be updated in the description and pinned comment of this video and over in the article as we learn more over the next couple of weeks and as seasonal updates do release, which will improve optimization across every aspect of Modern Warfare 3. I really hope you've enjoyed and peace out, everybody.